So I was messing around on Photoshop recently and I found an easy way to convert vectors and photos into pixel art. Of course Adobe Photoshop is a product you have to buy, but I'm sure there are plenty of free programs out there that can do the same thing. If you know any, please comment so others can see. I've got this image I made in Adobe Illustrator, and you can see how it's made from limited colors. Now this isn't exactly a vector, it's a high resolution PNG exported from vector shapes. To convert it into pixel art, we'll need to scale the image down to a smaller resolution. But the problem with doing that is the software generates more colors between our shapes, averaging the values. Instead of clean, sharp pixel art, our image becomes blurry and looks more like a low resolution photo. There are a couple steps we can do to change this. Go to the image menu, then to image size. It should bring a pop-up with some input fields. I want my image to be about a tenth of the size, so I'm going to make sure percent is selected and change 100 to 10. Now the most important option is the one down the bottom. Clicking nearest neighbor will give us those clean looking edges. Hit OK and your image should be rescaled. There might be some parts you'll want to touch up here and there, but overall it should be pretty clean. We've done a vector image, but that was the best case with simple flat colors. For a photo, it's a bit more complicated. Before we scale it down, we need to convert the thousands of colors into just a few. Luckily, there's a tool for that. Click Image, Adjustments, then Posterize. Now choose the amount of colors. I recommend somewhere between 2 and 5. Depending on your image, sometimes it's better to desaturate it first to get fewer colors. Now we can do the same thing as the vector, scaling it down 10%. Because in this case we desaturated it, I used curves and color balance tools to change the hue of the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Additionally, you can use a pixel program of choice to replace all the colors and manually fix up some areas. Thanks for watching.